Alright guys, this is going to be a, a YouTube video on how to set up Nightbot TV with your Twitch TV channel. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to www.nightbot.tv.com. You're going to want to register for an account and log in. I'm not going to walk you through that. I think you guys can figure that out. Once you uh, log into Nightbot, the first thing you guys need to do is get Nightbot to join your channel. And you can do that by clicking on this little join command. Uh, he's actually already in my channel. If you guys can't do that, you can actually go into your uh, dashboard on your Twitch TV. My Twitch TV is my Gonabro uh, dashboard. You can actually do, uh, um, basically you want to moderate. You can do a dash uh, mod and a nightbot. Just make nightbot a moderator. So you can actually do that by going in your viewer list, guys, and making sure that nightbot is a moderator. By clicking on nightbot when he joins, you click on join, he'll join your channel, which you'll set up, and you want to make him a mod. So I already have him a mod. It will be a little star hero. You'll make him a mod to join your channel. So once you have Nightbot on your channel, guys, you then want to set up your channel options in the Nightbot control panel. The first thing you want, you basically want to just go down the list, guys. So you have your Nightbot. You join up to your channel. You make him a moderator. And when he's joined, you click join again. And then it should say, I should already be in the channel. No need to make me there. That's so you can test to see if he's working or not. So the first thing you want to do is set up your spam protection, guys. This is important because a lot of people on Twitch TV like to troll uh, for no reason whatsoever or just they're bored or whatever. So what I like to do, these are my personal settings I like, is I enable link timeout. If someone posts a link, I enable them to be timed out by Nightbot. I do not allow silent timeout, so if someone posts links, it just won't post anything, it'll just be deleted. I don't like that. I do have a custom message, and my message says ask the mod for posting a link because my mods can all allow users to post links and you can also um, make a, your own custom message like you know uh, ask me for mod or you know whatever whatever you may want to type and then also if you're playing a certain game you guys might want to um, whitelist certain websites so like uh, WarZ actually has a t uh, website that changes the time and I probably should make it be a whitelist and uh, time. there's a website that does it WarZ.ti time I'm gonna go ahead and make this my uh, whitelist I'm actually gonna add it so I'm going to add a link. So whenever someone posts either one of these links, it's whitelisted. It's allowed to be posted. And again, you can also set up uh, spam phrases. So let's say someone calls you something really mean or something all the time. You don't. You want to automatically ban them. Like for instance, if I was a cheater, someone or like someone like I don't know, calling me swear words, certain swear words you don't like to be called. You can enable that as your spam blacklist. So it automatically blacklists a word and punishes the person who says it in chat. Uh, you can set that up. Uh, again, you can set that up with timeouts. You can also enable your cap protection when you have someone coming to your channel and just spam, you know, in big caps and stuff. You don't want that. Definitely, I would recommend enabling that. And then disable, disabled. You can, like, say, stop typing in caps, yada, yada. I have my cap limit set to 10 caps. So if someone does more than 10 letters, it enables it. And then when you're set up this how you want it, guys, you want to click on save changes. And if you notice this, actually, we went through the whole entire spam list here. The next thing you guys want to set up is custom commands. And for the custom commands, this is uh, actually really useful. I already have stuff set up for myself. The commands I like to set up, I like to do a period and then a saying. So if I want to set up a new custom command, you're going to click on this little plus arrow here, guys. And then basically, you can actually have it be like uh, giveaway, you know, YouTube, you know, Twitter, whatever you want, whatever, whatever you want it to be, you know, whatever word you want it to be. I I personally like the exclamation point info. And then I use, and then you can allow who you want to access this command in Nightbot. Everyone will allow anyone in your chat to type it. I actually don't recommend you guys doing this because if you have a lot of people in chat who know something, they'll spam your your thing that you allow everyone to do it. I'd recommend for making it either a moderator or even like a regular. Regular, this is kind of like a moderator. You can set certain users who are allowed to do it. I'll get into that in a little bit. But I'd, for now, I'd recommend setting all your commands up for moderators to run and just have moderators run certain commands. These are some I've already set up already. Uh, I was playing 7 Days to Die at a 7 Days to Die command. I had, uh, I'm friends with Brett Dakota. I have his own command that goes to his Twitch TV. I have, you know, get legit. I have my info. My info says support me. It has my YouTube and it has my Twitter. Donate if you enjoy via PayPal, etc. So I have all these other commands that I've created and my mods have created for me. And I have a total of 25 of them. I'll probably actually delete this one because I'm not using this Omen one anymore. So you can delete them. You can go um, modify them. This one, Mo. Everyone can type Mo. 
subscribers can get information on my PC, soup kitchen, etc. You can make changes by clicking on this edit button. If you want to change the command or what it says, pretty pretty self-explanatory. You can only I think you're limited at 25 entries unless you pay for Nightbot guys, so you only have a certain amount. And these are other commands that come by default. I have them disabled. So I basically create your own commands here and access them, guys. Pretty simple, straightforward. The Nightbot commands, again, are commands that Nightbot you can run. Uh, in order to force Nightbot to follow or unfollow your channel, you can actually run these commands. Instead of clicking on the join command, you can click on exclamation point Nightbot join. You can also copy and paste that in here. If Nightbot's not in your channel, you can copy and paste that, guys, and put it here. And then Nightbot will join your channel instead of clicking on the dashboard Nightbot join. So back to Nightbot commands. These are the commands that Nightbot runs. Obviously, you just copy and paste them in your channel. Uh, he has a whole bunch of custom commands for countdowns, you know, registry lists, etc. A whole bunch of good stuff. The thing I really like is uh, the Nightbot uh, song request commands, actually, though, which are really good. The song request allows people to request songs, play songs, and I'll get into that in a little bit as well. The admin staff commands, same thing, Nightbot join, student channel remove pretty simple stuff timers I really like are useful because I have it uh, basically in my channel spam my YouTube and I also have it sp basically my YouTube and my Twitter so I have it set for every 20 minutes or X amount of lines to spam a command I'd recommend telling it to you know please support me follow my channel you know please subscribe to my YouTube follow me on Twitter you know donate whatever it might be I would set up uh, time commands so if you guys are not in your chat to display a command and again it's really simple you click on this plus button add a new timer call whatever you want you can set it on a time limit here guys or you can set it on X amount of lines and most of the time you can have a run a com uh, I probably should set a commercial actually on mine the thing is I just would hate to have a commercial play when I was gaming I think that'd be kind of annoying but if you're a partner with twitch you can have it run a commercial on X amount of time and have it a custom message of your choice so these are the time commands you can run Regulars are your regular users. Uh, these are certain people who come to my channel a lot. You can actually add regulars. So if you have like a person who you don't necessarily want to give a mod to, but you want to make a regular, for instance, like my subscribers, I probably should be adding them as regulars and giving them special commands in Nightbot to run. That's one thing you can do. And then uh, subscribers are, this is a new one that just came out. It grants subscribers more power in channel. If you order Nightbot to be able to grant this to be able to click continue. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start using this and I'm going to authorize it with me. My Nightbot account, why not? Let's see what this does. Nightbot contributors. Okay, whatever. Well, I don't know what this does. This is new. It doesn't work. The thing I like about Nightbot, though, is this Nightbot Auto GJ is really loud. Wow, that's loud. That's really loud. Anyways, you basically, people can input um, song list, and you can actually copy and paste this. You, I actually do a screen capture and show people what's playing, so you can use Nightbot Auto DJ. You can uh, put this in another tab or move this around to use, guys, to capture the song that plays the YouTube video, etc. To manage your song request list, this is my current list. I've already had 820 people play. You can delete stuff or add new songs. And all you need to do is add is, is add the YouTube video. So if you go to like YouTube, for instance, and you want to add like a music video, I don't know. Um, I'll just add the, Kat the I want the Roar, Katy Perry video, right? All you have to do is copy and paste the link here guys and add the ID you don't even need to copy at YouTube yada yada all you need actually is the V I think I believe it's the V or the after the question mark so all you need is this I believe yep so after so you don't need the whole entire thing you can type the whole entire thing but you don't need it and now this will be added and I think this it goes in order you see how I went to page three and my my next song has been added to my video and other people can request songs these are the usernames who have added it and you can turn your playlist on or off. You can manually add songs or clear your list and show X amount of numbers. I can also set your own personal playlist, guys, that you can add your own go-to stuff that you want to listen to. And again, same way, add a new song, copy and paste the YouTube video, and you can have your own playlist in Nightbot. It's pretty cool. Nightbot also offers a giveaway in the chat, and it will actually link up to your chat, and you can actually do giveaways with Nightbot. It is in beta. I personally don't use this option. I use my normal uh, giveaway tab here, the roll the dice. I prefer that one. But I'd recommend uh, giving this a shot. You know, if you're not using that one, you can do a giveaway. It's pretty simple to use. You can have it set for a question, a random number, or an active user, and it has options available so you can filter out. So if I want to do a sub only giveaway, 
and then I'm gonna update my settings and just we'll let's just do a, a random number. Start the giveaway. See who wins. Random number giveaway is given out in 15 seconds. The answer's four. People watching my stream will be able to type this. For instance, if I type four, let's see if I win. Your channel will spam X amount, whatever, to do a giveaway. You can definitely use it. I already have people on my channel as I'm making this video right now. See, Hicksonic typed it. See, he won, and you can send him a message. He won a certain giveaway. Why not? I will send him a high five. High five. You can roll against our new giveaway. So this is the giveaway option they offer. They also have a support here. If you guys have any problems or questions, you can email or support them. This is basically a Nightbot. It's a, a mod or a bot you basically have in your Twitch TV channel. It's really smart to link it up and get all the commands working. And if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and, uh, and put them in the YouTube video below. And I'd be more than happy to help you guys out if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Uh, once again, guys, thank you for watching my how-to video on Nightbot Control Panel. I'm uh, Alex Godombro. I'll be putting out more how-to videos in the future. As always, please subscribe and have a nice day. Thanks, guys.